Hello everyone and welcome back to my video. In case a man is overboard, mob, the following actions should be taken. Raise the alarm. The person who sees the man overboard should immediately raise the alarm by shouting, man overboard. Loud and clear to alert all crew members. Maintain eye contact. If possible, maintain eye contact with the person who has fallen overboard to keep track of their position in the water. Deploy flotation equipment. If the person is close to the ship, flotation equipment such as a man overboard buoy or any buo preferably with a self-igniting light should be lowered in their direction to provide them with support and increase their visibility. Initiate rescue operations. If the person is not close to the ship, the rescue team should be deployed to conduct a search and rescue operation. This may involve launching a rescue boat or using other means to reach the person in the water. Sound the general alarm. The general emergency alarm should be sounded, including three long blasts on the ship's whistle, to alert all crew members and ensure that everyone is aware of the emergency situation. Mark the mob position. The mob position should be marked on the electronic chart display and information system, ECDIS, to assist in the search and rescue operation. Take immediate maneuvering action. The officer of the watch should take immediate maneuvering action to preserve the safety of the person in the water. This may involve ordering the helm hard over towards the side on which the man fell and initiating a Williamson turn or a similar maneuver. Assign lookouts. Lookouts should be assigned to indicate the position of the person in the water. They should be stationed on both sides of the vessel, including the bridge wings, with binoculars to aid in the search and maintain visual contact with the person in the water. Inform the master. The master should be informed about the man overboard situation and be involved in the decision-making process for the rescue operation. Broadcast a distress message. If appropriate, a distress message should be broadcast to alert nearby vessels and shore authorities about the man overboard situation and request assistance if needed. Maintain a log of events. A log or record of events and decisions should be maintained to document the actions taken during the man overboard incident. It is important to note that the specific actions taken in a man overboard situation may vary depending on the circumstances of each individual case. The safety and well-being of the person in the water should always be the top priority, and prompt and effective actions should be taken to ensure their rescue. Now let's talk about various recommended e-turning in marine industry during man overboard mob. 1. Williamson turn purpose. Primarily used to recover a man overboard mob. When the exact location of the person is unknown or visibility is poor. Procedure. Alter course. Put the rudder hard over towards the side of the man overboard. Swing ship. Continue turning until the ship is about 60 degrees 70 degrees off its original heading. Reverse helm. Shift the rudder to the opposite side to bring the ship back towards the reciprocal of its original course. Steady the ship. Once the ship is on a course directly opposite the original heading, steady the ship and proceed back along the original track. Advantages. Brings the ship back along its original track. Ideal for night or low visibility situations. Disadvantages. Takes more time than a Sharnow turn or a single round turn. Requires precise execution for effectiveness. 2. Two, Sharnow turn purpose. Used to recover a man overboard when the person's position is known, and the ship has traveled a considerable distance from that point. Procedure. Alter course. Put the rudder hard over to either side and start a 240 degrees turn. Reverse course. After completing 240 degrees, shift the rudder hard over to the opposite side. Return. Continue turning until the ship is heading back along its reciprocal course. Steady the ship. Steady the ship on the reciprocal heading and approach the mob position. Advantages. Faster than a Williamson turn. Covers less distance, making it efficient in close proximity to the mob. Disadvantages. Does not bring the ship exactly back to the original track. Not ideal for night or poor visibility. 3. 
Single round turn purpose. A quick and simple maneuver for recovering a person overboard, typically used when the mob is in sight and close to the ship. Procedure. Hard rudder. Apply the rudder hard over to the side where the mob occurred. Complete turn. Continue turning until the ship completes a full circle and approaches the mob from the downwind side. Recover. Stop engines when near the mob for safe recovery. Advantages. Quick and easy to execute. Effective when the mob is visible and close. Disadvantages. Covers more distance than necessary, potentially losing sight of the mob. Less effective in strong currents or poor visibility. Key considerations for all maneuvers. Crew preparedness. Conduct frequent drills to ensure all crew members are familiar with mob procedures. Visibility. The choice of maneuver depends on visibility and the distance traveled from the mob point. Environmental factors. Consider wind, current, and sea state when planning the approach. Communication. Always notify other vessels in the vicinity of the situation. For more videos, subscribe Sailor360 and stay connected.